You only lived twice. 1967. Running time? 116 minutes. Director? Lewis Gilbert. Screenwriter? Um, yeah, Ian Fleming. Fuck off, he never wrote any of them. Okay, so who wrote it then? You can look it up. How are you feeling since you came off the skag? Speaking for myself, I'm bored. Who wrote it? But you're looking better. Has to be said. Healthier. Radiant, even. Who wrote it? Roald Dahl. Roald Dahl? What do you see as your main strengths? Well, I love people, eh, all kinds of people, even people that nobody else likes. I think they're all right, you know, like beggars. Homeless people? No, not homeless people, no. Eh, beggars. He's Francis Begbie. He's one of my mates. Like, I wouldn't say like, he's my best mate, because like, eh, sometimes the boy goes way over the score. Like, one time we're standing there, we're having a laugh. All of a sudden, he's fucking got his right in the face. You see that, Mark? Leaving aside your friend, Mr Murphy. Well, Mr. Renton, I see that you attended the Royal Edinburgh College. Indeed, yes, those halcyon days. One of Edinburgh's finest schools. Oh, yes, indeed. I look back on my time there with great fondness and affection. The debating society, the first eleven, the soft knock of willow and leather. I'm an old boy myself. Oh, really? And do you recall the school motto? Oh, of course. The motto. The motto, strive, I've hope, hope, believe, and conquer. Conquer, exactly. Those very words have been my guiding light through what is, after all, a dark and often hostile world. Mr. Renton. Yes? You seem perfectly suited to this position, but I wonder if you could explain the gaps in your employment record. Oh, yes, I can, yes. The truth is, well, the truth is I've had a long-standing problem with heroin addiction. I've been known to smoke it, sniff it, swallow it, stick it out my arse and inject it into my veins. I'm trying to combat this addiction, but unless you count social security scams and shoplifting, I haven't had a regular job in years. Hello there, Mark. What are you doing? You didn't tell me you were a thief. <laughs> Go easy on the boy, lady. He's got one of the monkey things on his back. And... Look, opium doesn't just grow on trees, you know! What are you talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, I think the store is about to close. Go! 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 Surprise! <laughs> I hit the artery by mistake. Common enough error. I saw the quack tells us, as though it's going to make my leg grow back. Still could have been worse, eh? Could have been my fucking dick. <sighs> but I'll tell you right to see in here. They know how to look after you. Clean sheets, regular meals, and all the morphine you can eat. Great. <laughs> but seeing I get out of here, man, I've got plans, Ken. Gonna get myself straightened out. Then I'm off down to Thailand, where the women know how to treat a guy. You can see if you've got a white skin, a few crisp tenors in your pocket, you can live like a fucking king, no fucking problem, man. Sure. See, the strategy is this, right? You get clean, you get mobile, do a bit of dealing for profit only, and see a year from now. I'm going to be lying back, watching the rising sun with a dozen oriental buttocks on my coat. <laughs> Sounds great, Swanee. Oh, it will be, man. I'm telling you. Mind and send us a postcard, like.
Rồi xuyên bông God, sounds horrible. Wasn't that bad? Did he, uh, you know? What? You know? No, he didn't make me touch it. Oh, no, don't talk about it. Made me lick it. Stop it. I got a stitch cut in between my teeth and I jacked my head back and the whole fucking stump fell cut off. Cut it out! <laughs> when are you going to see him? Don't know. Maybe Thursday? Maybe Thursday. You're a real pal, Simon. And have you been to see Tommy yet? Fuck you! Okay, so Tommy's got the virus. Bad news, big deal. The gig goes on, or hadn't you noticed? Swanee fucks his leg up. Well, tough shit, but it could have been worse. You're all hot. I know this couple of addicts. Stupid wee lassies. I feed them what they need. Little bit of scag, keep them happy. The punters line up, five or a skull. It's easy money for me. It's not a fortune. I'm thinking I should be coining it in here. Less whores, more scag. Swanee's right. Get clean, get into dealing. That's where the future lies. Set up some contacts, get a huge load of smack, punt it, profit. What do you think? Fuck you. And I'll tell you why, Mark. I'm fed up to my back teeth with losers, no-hopers, draft packs, schemies, junkies and the like. I'm getting on with life. What are you doing? It's so simple, we bunt it on at 20 to this guy that's sick boy knows. We bunt it on at 60. Everyone's happy, everyone's in profit. I put in two, I should come away with six. Unless you get caught. Oh, well, as long as everyone keeps their mouth shut, no one's going to get caught, are they? So why have you told me about it? Well, because you're not going to tell anyone either, are you? I talk in my sleep. Well, do you? Besides, I thought maybe afterwards we could uh, go away somewhere together, like. I've got a boyfriend, Mark. What, steady, like? That's right. Going steady. Four weeks now. What age are you? 13? 14? 16 next month. Oh, happy birthday. Well, what did you think? I should be carrying a torch for you. So what's he like? Rory. Well, he's young and he's healthy. <laughs> <laughs> and you're such a deadbeat, Mark. Hey, fuck off! Come on! Fucking play the loop. All right. Messing about with yours. You fuck us all up. Calm down, just keeping the workers happy. Then you get lippy with me. <laughs> I'm not. Then he fucking argue, right? Spare some change, please. It's fucking massive over there, Spud, man, I'm telling you. Spare some change, please. I mean, people think it's just like Rolf Harris and neighbours and kangaroos, but it's much more than that, man. Much more. Man. 
I mean, it's the sixth largest country in the world. Fucking brilliant, man. It's rich in agriculture and natural resources. Natural resources? That's a bitch king you can hold. It's an easy life, man. It's like it's all surfing and shagging. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that could be the life for us. What do you reckon? No, Tommy, because I'm scared of the water, man. I can't even swim in that. I'm not one of the aquatic animals. I'm like a jungle cat. Pads, boys, clothes on the floor. Spend the change, please. I could take lessons in that, man. <laughs>